Hey, Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art. All right, so we're back for another video on the hummingbird. Um, this is how far I've gotten so far. Um, got the eyes done, underside of the wings, and uh, my reference doesn't show the crazy wild texture that I got going on on the wings, but I kind of wanted it to have a, a lot of movement to it, so I did my own thing, you know, using artist's liberties, uh, I guess you might say. So this is what I get to start on next, which you'll be seeing some of that today. So I got to start doing these layers. And once I get all that done, then I'll have to go around the whole thing and on the outside edge of the feathers, I'll have to do some power carving on that and doing some blending and tweaking. The gray is smooth on, habitat, free form, fire safe. And this this light cream color, that's the habitat freeform air, and the black is the habitat freeform black. So um, I wanted to use all their products and kind of get an idea how they work. Um, and the eyes here, I just made the eyes using the freeform black, and I used a little. I can't the wind. We had some wind the other day, so it blew it away. But it was a little plastic bottle, so the lid on the top. I just sprayed some uh, mold release on that and uh, put some epoxy on it and shaped it. And when it cured out, I just popped it off there, trimmed up the edges, boom, got the eyes. So I inserted those and then used some of the epoxy here to create some feathers. Okay, enough being said, let's get started on this here. I already got the epoxy mixed over there and ready to go, so we'll start applying it on the wing. Or you can see how that's done real quick. Here's the material I'm using today. So when you get it, if you haven't used it before, uh, ignore the powder in there. So uh, that's the black. A, B, that's equal parts, A to B. Real easy to work with. And that's the folding powder over there. You just take your A and your B over, make sure you got the same amounts of each. Use your folding powder. And if you don't know how to use it, Smooth On certainly has a video on how to mix this stuff. I've already got it mixed. So now it's just a matter of applying it and start working with it. So you need some water and a chip brush. Now the difference between this, um, last week in the other video where I was using the freeform air, I had to use a water, in my case I used the alcohol between the metal and the epoxy to get it to stick. But with this product, you don't really have to do that. It'll, it'll stick. You're not going to have that, that kind of issue with it. <clears throat> and then it's just a matter of uh, lightly rubbing it out. Let me go. So I just grab my water and just blend it on out a little bit. Oh, and you'll notice the uh, the felt marker pen marks I got here. I I actually drew it on there to get an idea of where my feathers are going to lie. So as you can see, they're going up here, and then they're going this next layer is up here. So that gives me a reference. I'll go get my sculpting tool. And I can kind of create them like this for now. And they're supposed to be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, that's not right. Let's tilt this up and see how many we've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm supposed to have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. 13 so we'll just cut one right in here and the main thing is you want to line them up here because when you get done you want your feathers um, if you got a good reference you can kind of see when you look at this side of the feathers and then you look at the other you got to keep that in mind as far as um, getting the top side of your feather and the under underside of the feather to match up otherwise if you don't do that it's going to look kind of funny so what we're doing here is um see if i if i went ahead and go all the way to the edge there i mean i can still find it from this but now that i got that there then it's just a matter of uh working it on over and i want i'd really I can bring it up to the top, but I don't have to this edge here. 
because this here's I want this to look like well it is it's like each layer this this layer is stacked on top of this one and this layer of feathers are stacked on top of that okay before I lose this line which it looks like I'm doing here it is right here and the key thing is just keep some water on there and then it's easy to work with if you don't your tools will stick your fingers will stick just easier if you keep the water going all right so now I want to tilt it up here and look and see what I got going on with this layer of feathers to make sure they're lining up like they should that looks pretty good like I say uh, later on I got to come back and do some power carving on these edges to clean them up Give me a little filler here. Just a matter of blending the edges. Now look at your reference. And your, the feathers are definitely running in a certain direction. So you really got to keep that in mind. It'd be a it'd be a bummer. You do all your text work to realize you did it backwards All right, so Let's get this going here There again if it gets too dry see where it tore right there. That's just because it it was too dry This is my first layer here Make sure of that, and it's right here. There, here, here. Let's see what I got going on. Okay. So, what I'm doing here is making sure um, that I'm getting the ind individual feathers correctly as far as. Where it would be coming out. Okay. There. That was there, so that should be there. There, there. Okay. So this is the first step is just um getting this cut in. here so these are actually going like so you see here where I was pulling it that way Actually, I need to be pulling it this way, so, but it's easy to correct. Okay, so many feathers I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Cool. That's how many I'm supposed to have. <laughs>